You don't have to buy patterns or expensive fabric to make a dress. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a pattern by copying a ready-to-wear camisole, modifying the pattern into a dress, and make it out of thrift store bed sheets. Start the pattern by drawing the center fold line. Fold the front of the camisole in half lengthwise and place it on the fold line. Trace the top of the camisole with no seam allowance. I wanted this dress to have a little more coverage in the chest, so I raised the top points of the camisole by one inch. Draw the top of the camisole with a new point, connecting it to the original armhole and lower v-neck point. Make note of the length of your v-neck, as we'll need this measurement later in the project. Mark the length of your bodice from the top point of the camisole. My bodice length was 22 inches. Draw the hem perpendicular to this line. For the side of the bodice, draw a straight line to the hem. Add 3 8 inch seam allowance to the side and the hem. Mark two lines from the top of the v-neck to the bottom of the hem. Modify the pattern by slashing and spreading the v-neck. Spread the pieces two inches apart and fill in the gaps with paper. Tape it all together and redraw the neckline. Fold the fabric and lay the pattern on the fold. Cut two bodices. The front and back will be exactly the same. Lay the two bodice pieces on top of each other and sew the side seams. Sew both sides with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Finish the seams with a serger or zigzag stitch and press towards the back of the dress. To make the v-neck straps, cut two strips of fabric 40 inches by 1 and a half inches on the bias. To finish the armhole, cut two strips of fabric 20 inches by 1 and a half inches. Press the armhole binding by folding the edges to the center lengthwise. Then fold in half lengthwise and press again. Pressing the v-neck straps is the same process, but start by folding in the ends before pressing lengthwise. Open the binding and wrap it around the armhole edge, clipping it in place. For this step, I prefer using small clips because they're easier to work with than pins. Sew the binding along the edge. Clip off the excess binding. To gather the v-neck, sew two rows of gathering stitches. Set your machine to the longest stitch length and leave long tail threads. Pull on the tail thread and gather the v-neck until it matches the initial v-neck measurement of the camisole. Wrap the thread tails around a pin to prevent it from unraveling. Find the center point of the v-neck strap by folding it in half. Mark the original v-neck measurement on both sides of the center. Clip the binding around the v-neck, matching the center v-neck point to the center of the binding and the other marks to the top of the v-neck. Sew along the edge of the binding. To get the sharp V on the v-neck, sew a small stitch in the center of the v-neck binding. Remove the gathering stitches and repeat on the back. For the first ruffle, cut a strip of fabric 11 and a half inches long at one and a half times the bodice width. For the second ruffle, cut a strip of fabric 11 and a half inches long and 2.25 times the bodice width. Depending on your fabric width, you may need to piece a few rectangles together. Sew the short ends of the ruffle together and create a big circle. Next, mark the ruffle into quarters to make aligning the pieces easier. Fold the ruffle lengthwise and mark the outer corners. Fold the ruffle in half again and mark the four corners. Sew two rows of gathering stitches at the top of the first ruffle, the same way as the v-neck. Gather the ruffle until it's the same width as the bottom of the bodice. Mark the bodice into quarters. With right sides together, pin the first ruffle to the bottom of the bodice, aligning the quarter marks. Sew the ruffle to the bodice with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Straighten the ruffle as you sew to make sure the ruffles are perpendicular to the stitch line. Remove the gathering stitches. Repeat the process with the second ruffle. Before gathering the last ruffle, hem the bottom a quarter inch. For the belt, cut a strip of fabric 69 inches long and one and a half inches wide along the grain of the fabric. Press and sew lengthwise. Done with the sewing, onto the B-roll. 